Real quick before we start today's video, I still got a challenge going on. If I successfully hit 150k by the end of this week, then I have to buy this and eat a food recommendation from the comments. Trust me, this is literally the most- <laughs> This is a business expense, alright? This is a business investment for me. I'll write it off in taxes. So yeah, 150k subs by the end of this week. I'll buy this and eat the most liked comment. So, comment food goals. Alright, back to the video because- How's it going, guys? Peep is- <sighs> I don't know. I'm running out of intro ideas. I'm just gonna play something funny. Haktua. In the words of a Cheeto, the Haktua girl is basically the modern day iteration of Bad Baby. If you don't remember who Bad Baby is, uh, you're too young, unsubscribe from my channel. Oh, and just like that, I lost half my fan base. I think it's a, a subtle rule, an unwritten rule, if you will, that if your 15 minutes of fame came from you accidentally becoming a meme then you are, your career is bound to like collapse like immediately you accidentally becoming a meme does not mean you're like a superstar right you're going to fall off and you're going to fall off hard and trust me this is coming from the king of falling off actually that's a lie i i think the current crown holder for king of falling off has to go to kabi lame I, I don't know what that dude is doing nowadays and personally i don't even want to I, i'm not interested enough to find out <laughs> i think he sells like taco holders now and i'm not <laughs> my love can't be that hard, bro. <laughs> All right, quick sidetrack. How did this dude get a Fortnite skin? Bro was literally famous for like a month. There, how how did he get a Fortnite skin? Now, today's video is going to be very uh, biased, right? This is going to be very opinion-centered, right? Nothing here is factual. If you want to disagree with me, you're more than happy to. Go ahead and comment your disagreements with me. But if your 15 minutes of fame is just you being a meme, you being a, a laughing stock for like a month, I think trying to capitalize off of that just lucky makes you look a little stupid. Like, oh, dude, I'm the, I'm the guy who made a jelly bean video in 2024. Uh, new merch coming up soon, guys. Uh, the big 2024. That, that's my new catchphrase. Obviously, today we're talking about Haley Welch. You guys may know her for uh, probably one of the most milked memes of all time. Like, I swear to God, this meme was milked just as hard as, like, Mr. Beast drama. And that's saying a lot, bro. The hawk Tua situation is insane. Drama. <laughs> so the reason I'm making this video is because of uh, some business decisions she's been making. And honestly, she's been doing a lot of charity work on her Twitter, right? I gotta give her props where it's due. And I'm not gonna make fun of her for being active on Twitter, right? As soon as you fall off, I don't expect you to just be snapped away from the internet, right? Delete all social media because you're not relevant anymore. You're still allowed to post, obviously. Like, she's just clearly being human, right? Because if that's the case, then my, my channel would have been snapped out of existence by now. But there will be the occasional post that makes you go... It, it's just a meme, bro. Like, you can chill out, please. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> done like like the meme died <laughs> like just, just i feel like that one statement alone is kind of stupid right like imagine if the yodeling boy from walmart i forgot his name he was just like y'all thought the meme died nah it's just getting started that's sort of what you look like no offense i'm Haley welch a little while ago my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever and along the way i've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. all right real quick real quick there was a short clip of her next to sketch right are we gonna act like this isn't like the most awkward encounter on like youtube history let me try to find that clip that was, it was so painful to watch. What's up? How are you, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? This is casual. Doing good, how are you? Nice to meet you. I feel like I'm on the internet right now. Look at us. Look at your brother. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta say your thing now. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> or, or not. Do the thing! Do the thing. <laughs> I can't do the thing. It's okay. That's alright. You, so you said you're from Louisiana? Huh? Wait, I thought you... I'm just, uh, I was just guessing based on... The no, point. Tennessee. Oh, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, god. Close, but no cigar. What? Close, but no cigar. What does that mean? It's like a catchphrase. Close, but no cigar. Is this chemistry we have right <laughs> now? <laughs> on that note... Yes. <laughs> he really got hit with the on that note. The second a girl says on that note to you, it's a lost cause, bro. Just give up. All right, back on track, back on track. I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. 
Check out my podcast every week. Talk to them. Well, if everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I think I'm entitled to mine. Just let the meme go, bro. The only memes I'm seeing on my For You page are just people ironically laughing at it. Like, it's all satire because of how milked to death this meme is. Jarvis, pull up that one meme that's like, it's like Jinx laughing at, uh, my name is Jeff meme compilation, and it's like a tweet that's just like, this is what motherfuckers who still laugh at Hawk to all look like. <laughs> I'm not Batman, though. Mama! 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 What? I never guess. <laughs> Introducing the Talk Tuo with Haley Welch podcast. I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't even feel like watching any of these episodes. Maybe I just have like an autistic attention span and I just, I don't have the patience for any of this. Why does this setup look? He reminded me of like that girl who's just like screaming, what the shit? <laughs> it's like the most painful. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stop referencing random ass memes, but I gotta show you this last one real quick. Like, oh, it was him! What the shit? What the Like, what is that? What I just, the I don't understand What that. the what? What? I said Hawk Toy, and now I'm here with Whitney Cummings. Who looks at their child and decides to name it Cummings? Spelled like that, bro. I would, personally, if my last name was Cummings, spelled like that, I would, I would just legally change my name, bro. I, ain't no way I'm surviving life with this being my last name. <laughs> no way in hell. I just find it funny, because it's like, despite her huge following, she gets, like, little to no engagement. I think that's an early symptom of a falling off syndrome. That, that's just my personal opinion, though. It's just, just me. Now, real quick, before we end today's video, I just want to check something out real quick because i saw just something very painful online that i just gotta find is this the real thing <sighs> what is this oh my god there's no way this site has like any revenue whatsoever <laughs> this is so bad <laughs> what's the light goal in order for me to cop some of this i don't even know uh, this is it's a lot of tapestry y'all fuck with this tapestry all right i'm done this is a really dumb video all right seal oh shit i didn't hit the eight minute mark yet okay um f f here let me let me try to drag it out okay i've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and i don't expect to be forgiven i'm simply here to apologize what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned the reactions you saw on tape were raw they were unfiltered none of us knew how to react or how to feel i should have never posted the video I should have put the camera down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't. And for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I want to apologize to the internet. I want to apologize to anyone who has seen the video. I want to apologize to anyone who's been affected or touched by mental illness or depression or the S word. But most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. I don't deserve to be defended. My goal with my content is always to entertain, to push my boundaries, to be all-inclusive. In the world I live in, I share almost everything I do. The intent is never to be heartless, cruel, or malicious. Like I said, I made a huge mistake and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm just here to apologize. I'm ashamed of myself, I'm disappointed in myself, and I promise to be better. I will be better. Thank you.